Today we're going to show you how we made these line curtains. Stick with us. Welcome to The Handyverse, where we approach home ownership mindfully and turn to DIY where our knowledge and skills allow. So today we're going to go over and show you how we made these uh, line back curtains uh, for our main living room window. Uh, this was a project that had been on the docket for a long time. I actually purchased material quite some time ago. I'm a little embarrassed to say how long um, because every time I went to approach it, it just like to do is sit down and actually do the project it felt just so immense and I couldn't get started so eventually uh, my mother-in-law was over and she's like we're, we're doing that we're getting that done today so it is a project I think that works best on a buddy system because uh, it is like it requires a larger space um, it, you need to work with a large amount of material and it will take you some time to complete the project but the skill level of like the sewing skill level is relatively easy and straightforward um, so just going to show you quickly these curtains. We have a pretty large window, so we have ended up having four panels. So again, increased um, the amount of work that was involved. And you can buy like different types of uh, lining. Um, this one here we chose to so it would block out the light. So you can see here. And you can see here it's relatively like it's mostly just straight sewing. So without further ado, let's get to it and show you how to do this project. Okay, so we have to do our measurements before we cut. So this is our window, this is the floor, and this is the curtain rod. So we measured from the curtain, the top of the curtain rod, which we placed above the window, down to the floor, and that is 84 inches, inches. so that's our desired finish length of the curtains. So we measured the width of the window, and it's about 102 inches, and we want to have double of that in curtain. Um, coverage so times two and we want to even on both sides so we'll divide that by four so we're going to make four panels with a finish width of about 51 inches so those are our desired finish um, measurements so what are we going to cut so we're going to cut our fabric um, a little longer than the 84 inches we're going to cut extra 10 inches 94 inches and extra three inches on the width and then the lining, we're just gonna cut to our desired finish uh, measurements, which again is 84 by 51. Just get it squared there. Okay, so we've lined up this corner here, so an inch and a half on the side and five inches here. So we're going to pin it in place. And best to put your pins um, 
going this way. So when you sew, you can sew over them. Same thing here. Okay, so now we're just gonna go um, all up each side here first and measure and make sure it's an inch and a half. to cut the fabric straight and the exact me measurements you need on every side. One thing that's helpful, our fabric has um, a little bit of give to it and if you need to anything to sort of write up your edges, um, remember that your, fat, your lining, um, can, if you need to, like and we're going to, can buckle a little bit on the inside because once it's hanging down and straight, um, you're not going to see that, it's not going to matter. Uh, also, do as we say, not as we do. Probably a good idea to iron uh, your lining and fabric first before you do your measurements. Okay, I'm just ironing the seam off the outside fabric. And then we turn it in and iron it with the liner. Okay, so we've pinned up each side of the curtain and we're going to sew along each side um, and it might be hard to see here but we're going to sew as close to the edge as possible to make sure we catch the um, side that's tucked under and um, so we're going to start and do the back, make sure you back stitch to kind of seal the thread in. Okay, so and we're just gonna sew up each side and then we'll do the, uh, the, the length side. So we roll the hem in one inch. Okay, and then we press it so that we can sew it again. So now we're going to turn the hem up four inches and pin it. Okay, when you get it turned up the four inches, then you press it and get ready to sew. Okay, so the same as the sides, now we're going to sew the hem along the top and bottom, which are the same, and we're going to keep close to the edge um, again so we don't miss our seam. 
Um, and that's it. So I'm going to just and then back stitch. Now to hang the curtains, there's all different ways to do this and there's different ways to hang these um, rings but we're just going to show you a really easy way to do it. I think the most important thing is to have it somewhat evenly spaced. So what we did was just fold the curtain over in half and we're going to clip one on this end. These are really strong hooks. And then one down on this end. So we have three. And we're folding it in half. And we're going to put one in the middle of each. And these we just actually got on Amazon too, they're really good price. We'll put the link um, below in the video. Because in, in, in the total I think we had four panels, nine rings on each panel. Um, and remember these panels are 51 inches, so we used uh, nine times four is 36. 36 rings. <laughs> Okay, and then on the edge here, we're gonna put one on each fold. All right. Okay, now we're just gonna go hang it on our rod. There's a numerous ways you can dress your window, but we ultimately decided to go with a double rod system, which we really like, because it gives us the option to pull back the curtains, um, have a little bit of privacy, but still allow the light to come in, or alternatively, we can pull the curtains right across and have our privacy. Um, and then we think it just kind of elevates the look a little bit to the window dressing, especially where it's our main living room window. If you found this video helpful, check out some of our other sewing videos. For instance, how to make a rolling blind. We'll put the link above. Thanks for watching.